Well, next week is back to school for millions of children around the world. The same is true here in France. French school kids heading back into the classroom next Thursday. And the French Education Ministry has just unveiled the new health protocol for schools. Well, France 24's health editor Julia Seeger is with me now and set to talk more about that. What are the new rules? So first of all, Jenny, there will be no COVID health pass. And this is very important. The reason why is because the health ministry wants schools to stay as accessible as possible. All kids from kindergarten to high school uh, will also be able to attend classes on site. As of first grade, they'll have to wear face masks indoor. They'll also have to respect social distancing and also try to not mingle with classmates from other classrooms. There will also be reinforced ventilation measures. Now, in the event of a contamination in a classroom, those are, of course, questions that parents have today. Uh, the seven-day isolation period will not be required for vaccinated children. Um, so it's the same as the rule for the rest of the population. But for unvaccinated children, they will have to isolate uh, for for seven days. It raises questions on how to teach kids, partly uh, on site and remotely. Now, in uh, primary schools, as children are, are not old enough to get vaccinated, they will shut down completely uh, uh, classes for seven days. Right. Just to remind everybody, it's 12 years old, the minimum for vaccinations here in France. So what about school outings, though, for those older kids? In theory, they would need a health pass to go, say, to a museum or something. Exactly. It's going to be something very tricky indeed, Jeannie, because uh, as some of you know, as of August uh, Ninth, uh, a sanitary health pass is mandatory for all adults, so they have to show proof of vaccination of past infection uh, or a negative PCR test to be able to access, let's say, cafes, restaurants, uh, outdoor terraces, but also care homes, long-distance uh, transports. And this health pass will be applied and will be mandatory for uh, children above the age of 12 as of September 30th. So they don't have a mandatory health pass in schools, but they do in other public spaces, and that's going to be a problem. Now, a lot of people are saying that, uh, you know, this doesn't make sense that the government is acting like the Delta variant is going to stop at the doorstep of uh, schools, kind of like, you know, the arguments that were used during Chernobyl. Now, they're also going to bet, of course, a lot massively on testing kids in schools, and there's going to be a vaccination campaign, but it won't be made mandatory. All right. 